we're pretty like similar, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, I think two quite very outspoken people with very clear ideas on the world. Yes. And that kind of is like a subject to kind of receive a lot of love and a lot of kind of judgment about it. And I just thought it'd be so sick to kind of get together and just talk. You know what was so funny? I don't think I even told you this when I saw you last, but when you came on Top of the Pops, whenever the hell that was. Shop in a pop! I obviously hadn't met you at that point, but I knew of you. And seeing you in the studio and doing your thing, I was like, oh my God. And this sounds utterly absurd, but there was something about you that I thought, that reminds me of young me. You groove up, Marla. I tell you what, let's get into the groove. Welcome to Top of the Pops. I, I think for a while, um, was trying to get away from that old me. And I was trying to like, be the new me who was, you know, had done lots of reading and whatever, whatever bullshit <laughs> I was trying to do. Seeing you do your thing, I thought, oh, I like young me. Young me was like absolutely wild and just like untethered, but that's awesome. So you really helped me without knowing it, sort of make oh, that's crazy. a nice piece with my younger self. It was cool. It's the challenge of the outspoken, isn't it? And I think like kind of the entertainment industry, like right now in this kind of day, day and age it's getting a lot safer and like I grew up on like that naughty British humour and bite with like yourself Noel Fielding, Blur, Oasis, this kind of thing where the outsider and the kind of the the naughty yet sweets it's all about love in the end yeah, isn't of course. it? I mean, but, but was kind of celebrated and it's very quickly kind of turned. It was a great time and you could kind of do whatever you wanted back then. And, you know, lots of bands were quite wild and um, just completely themselves, essentially, without any media training, without anyone saying this is what is popular right now. It was a real mix of so much and it felt so exciting. I think culturally it's harder because cancel culture exists, which is a horrible, toxic yeah. little bastard. And I just can't bear that that, because everything should be up for debate, but also everybody on earth should be able to make mistakes and then come back and try again. Dude, That's a it. given. That's a yeah. given. And in the nineties, everyone was, everyone was doing crazy 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 shit and 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 then you know picking themselves up and trying again and we were much more forgiving so we do need to go back to that way of thinking i think it it's almost gone that far left it's gone right you know what i mean it's just like it's just Mad. it's literally just so hard to kind of be an artist now because can you like it's like almost like living in a world of expression where you can only express yourself up to 90 92 percent and the rest yeah. of the eight percent's like oh maybe i need to amend that i just have a purpose i'm doing it to like i want to be like a cure or the smiths or joy division me you know what i mean like a purpose for bringing that but if i said that in nme magazine you everyone would be like no you're not like <laughs> i division. know you're not like the cure no you're not because it's like done in such a different way i spend e every day like kind of going like how the fuck do i get that respect i've got a real problem and i always have had with people um getting the wrong impression about me or creating a story that i don't believe is true because i think i know what i'm about and who i am none of us maybe definitely always know but i've got a sense and if someone misconstrued that i feel like wildly out of control so i'm still you know at 40 learning that lesson of no, I can't control that whatsoever. And I think you're so right. The less you care and the less it matters, the more people see the real you and then respect you. It's just so hard to not care though, isn't it? So hard. That's why I was buzzing to have this talk because it was like, out of like so many people who kind of went through that, it's like you came out of it and you still, like, I still respect you so much and I still like, think you're cool as fuck you know what i mean and i'm like in this middle so i'm kind of like oh shit what did what did she do you know what? what did they do you know what i mean i think that you never i don't think you ever get to a place where you go i'm cool with people talking shit about me or whatever it is all i know is that i will keep doing what i'm doing regardless that's what i'm saying like real art like 
just that's what it's about it's about kind of having the courage to say what people won't you know i mean i think yeah. it's 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 a it's a crazy thing i think that's where great art and great artists come from it's just like i think that's what separates singers from artists writers from artists painters from artists you know i mean it's like it's that that um absolute fearlessness what determines whether an artist a book a painting is successful or not not the publisher not the radio not the record label not the artist's upbringing not what is surrounding the artist you the people yeah. decide if yeah. that art is going to be big or not that's the it connects or it doesn't if it doesn't connect to people if it's not truthful it's just not going to work 